Good morning. This is Monday morning espresso shot with fellow citizens of the household of God. We pray that you're in a place where you'll be able to hear the word of the Lord and that it would have its desired effect in your life in order to grow you spiritually and mature you to the manifold blessings of God that he has deposited into your life. In order for us to partake of anything deposited of God, we must be in a place that the deposit is being put. So I pray that you're in that place now where you've blocked out all distractions and are able to hear the word of the Lord. We are going to start in just a couple of minutes, so please take and grab pen, paper, and Bibles and get ready for a powerful word from the Lord that I believe will help you throughout the week, make better decisions, have victories, and proclaim all greatness that God has assigned to your hands. Pen, paper, Bibles, and get ready for a Monday morning espresso shot with fellow citizens of the household of God. We're going to open with a word of prayer and then jump right into the discussion on this morning. So y'all know I don't delay, let's pray. Father, we thank you and we bless you. We give you glory, honor, and praise. We ask you for forgiveness of all sins, sins of the mind, the body, and the spirit. God, even now make us ready for your use. God, we submit ourselves unto you. We submit our hearing, our understanding, we ask that you would infill us for your word declared that he that hath an ear, God, give us the ear to hear your word for us as a church in Jesus name. Each individual person, God, meet them at where they are and explain to them what you would have them to know about your word on this morning in Jesus name. God, I offer myself as a vessel unto you to be used. Let me speak only what you've said and let the hearer hear only what you have spoken unto them as an individual. In Jesus name we pray. All those who agree say amen. God bless you. God bless you. All right. Correct your vision. Correct your vision. As long as the reflection is you, God is not responsible for the outcome. As long as the reflection you see is you, God is not responsible for the outcome. All you see is you against the issue. And it will always be defeat, you see. Without God, we fail. There's no other way to put that. Without God, we fail. John 15, 5 says, John 15, 5. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, Ye can do nothing. Nothing. Now, some folks may dispute that and may say, but I'm, I'm, I'm doing well in my career. I, I've accomplished this. I've done that. I've done that. Okay. You've got to understand God doesn't speak in your little world. God speaks throughout time. So when God says we can do nothing, that means that when it counts, you will fall short. When does it count? Where you'll spend eternity. For the life we live in this lifetime is but a fleeting moment, but eternity is forever. And you cannot achieve eternal life with God without Christ. He is the vine that feeds us. So the subject matter of today is correct your vision. You've always focused on the problem in front of you. See, this is what I find to be very true. Most Christians are nearsighted spiritually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're only able to see what's up close. 
but lacking long range sight. You can't see what's far off. You can't see the answer. All you see is what's in front of your face. When a problem face you, when difficulties face you, when you have problems at work, when you have problems at home, when you have problems in your mind, all you can see is what's in front of you because you're nearsighted. You need to correct your vision. And what's the correction of that vision? Psalms 121, 1 through 2. Psalms 121, 1 through 2. Some of y'all need to read this, reread it, reapply it, walk in it, study it, let it meditate in your mind and your heart constantly. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. Verse 2, my help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth. Your vision is so focused on what's in front of you, you cannot see that the solution is in the hills from which cometh your help. Because your help is from the Lord. But you're so nearsighted. All you can see is what's up close. The immediate threat. The immediate problem. But the answer is afar off. So you need to adjust your vision. Put on your spiritual bivocal bifocals put on your spiritual vision put on put on your eyes that god has given you see that's why it's very important that when we claim to be christians claim to be believers that we take on the new us because the new us comes with new vision in case you didn't know any man being christ he is a new creature old things are passed away behold all things become new what all things part of that all things becoming new is your vision God is going to improve you to be able to see afar off. Why? Because it's not important what's in front of you. Why? Because God can take care of it. You need to see afar off. You need to see the destiny that God has assigned for your life. In order to get the help, you must be looking in the correct direction of where the help comes from. When the problem you face sees you, when the problem you face sees you, it sees what it can beat. You got to understand your problem sees you as a defeated person, a defeated thing. It always looks in victory because your problem believes that it has the power to overcome you. Ask God to correct your vision, to only look to him for the solution. You need to refocus your vision. Correct your vision. See God only. See him as the source. Go to Psalms 119 and 18. Also Psalms 119 and 37. 119 and 18 says... Open thou mine eyes, that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law. God, I want to see what your law says I am entitled to. That's corrected vision. God, I want to see what you say is mine. If you say that I am favored, that I am above only, and not beneath, that I am the head and not the tail, then God, I want to believe what you say. I want to see what your word says in the law. Then verse 37 of 119 says, turn away mine eyes from beholding vanity and quicken thou me in thy way. Quieten my voices, my solution. Turn mine eyes from beholding vanity. See, vanity is where you believe you got the answer. Vanity is where you believe you are in charge of all outcomes of your vanity is something that none of us need to abide in. If we're not in God, we're in the wrong arena. Once you get to the place where you've asked God to correct your sight, finally, 
you remove your focus off of self and give all glory to God. The reason why we always want to bolster our ability to problem solve, to have the solution, is so that we're able to take credit for the whole victory. Here's the problem with that. Only God holds the victory that is sustainable. You may have a temporary victory, but then you've got to understand if you obtain a victory, you're responsible for maintaining the entirety of it. And some of you have been in some situations where you understand exactly what I just said. If you obtain the victory, you're responsible for maintaining the entirety of it. And I'm going to tell you right now, that's a heavy weight to carry. That's why God said, take my yoke upon you. Learn of me for my burdens are light. That, that, Proverbs 3, 7 and 8 will cause us to receive health and strength from the true source, which is God. Proverbs 3, 7 and 8. But you must get in the word and let the word get in you. Before I read this, but you must get in the word and let the word get in you. The word is not just going to arbitrarily come up in your life and just correct your vision. No, you've got to want God to correct your vision. God, allow me to no longer see myself as the source. To see the problem as big. To see the issue as overwhelming. God, allow me to have your peace. He said, I'll keep you in perfect peace if you keep your mind stayed on me. Where's your mind at? Is it focused on the issue or focused on the peace of God that he's already given you? Listen, Proverbs 3, 7 and 8. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It shall be health to thy navel and marrow to thy bones. It'll be health and strength. All the source that you need in order to live a fruitful, productive life. When you take the wisdom off of you, be not wise in thine own eyes. S stop thinking that you got the solution to every problem you face. Now, will there be some issues that God will allow you to operate in self and achieve the victory? Absolutely. He made us to be so. But then you must always give glory unto God for it is he who gives us the ability. Now the rest of that scripture says to get wealth, but wealth comes in many fashions. Wealth of education, wealth of uh, financial, wealth of family, wealth of friends, wealth of social status, wealth of whatever. But when you remove God from getting the victory, that means you're responsible for the actions taken on the next steps. So you need to correct your vision. Stop looking to you for the source. Stop looking to you for the answers. Stop looking to, stop, stop. Look to the hills from which come at your help. Correct your vision. Stop it from seeing me. Because as long as I can see me in the reflection, God is not responsible for the outcome. Stop being nearsighted and become farsighted. How do you become farsighted? You look to the hills. The hills is far away. You look to the hills from which come at your help. You understand that nothing that you see in front of you is your responsibility. It's all God. You look to the hills from which come at your help. Your help cometh from the Lord. Once you begin to focus on God, he will focus on you. Once you commit to God, he'll commit to you. Once you love God, he'll love you. Now, he has shown himself to be a loving God from the beginning because he gave you an opportunity to come to him. He established that opportunity before you were born. So the way has already been paved and well walked out. 
And trust me when I tell you, walking in the ways of God only lead to victory. So correct your vision and walk therein in Jesus' name. God bless you. Thank you for joining us this morning for Monday Morning Espresso Shot. I pray that this espresso shot will boost you spiritually, mentally, and wholeheartedly to achieve the greatness of God and have the victories manifest themselves in your life in Jesus' name. God bless you. We look forward to seeing you Wednesday night where we will begin the book of Matthew. We're in the New Testament now, the first book. God bless you. We love you and we'll see you then. Bye-bye.